In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can create this grungy photo effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Droel here back with another video and in this video, I'm gonna use this images that I found on daventart.com. So this is the model image and this is the background image and this is a little bit of smoke that we're gonna use to light up this cigarette that she's holding and so first of all let's start with cutting her out from the background so i'm gonna select my quick selection tool from here and make a quick selection of her uh, from here and the image is really high resolution so uh, we can do one thing let's go to image image size and i'm gonna make it for tutorial you don't have to necessarily do it so i'm gonna make it 2000 by 3000 so it will make the image smaller and my work will get faster so i'm gonna make the selection now as you can see uh, the difference it makes in the speed uh, since my pc is a little bit slow so let's try to cut her from the background and let's do it don't worry for this portion i will show you how to do that so first of all you know, using your quick selection tool uh, start doing this and about the jacket let's see if we can get it yes we can so no need to worry about that and about the hair so let's get that portion of the hair done and here so now for this rest of the areas i'm gonna use my magnetic lasso tool so in third option uh, click and hold uh, hold your key uh, click so then you will have magnetic lasso here you can also right click just like that so as you can see we need to select the cigarette and this little bit of areas so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my the second option so it will allow me to add some extra selection so let's go and I'm gonna start adding the selection and a little bit here it doesn't have to be extremely accurate around the cigarette because that's fine it's not that detailed so that seems fine and come here and I'm just gonna double click here to make the selection and that's covered and the same way I'm gonna cover the fingers uh, let's do them here and then let's finish it so fingers are done and now we need to remove selection from this area so I'm gonna select this third option which will allow me to remove the selection so I'm gonna click here and make a really quick selection of here and here so as you can see it should not be very difficult since it's red and black in front of a gray background so not a big deal a uh, very simple job to turn and come here and I'm gonna remove it and see that's like that and if there is some annoying point like this which always happen use your delete key and boom that's gone so that's done and about this portion so same way I'm gonna remove the selection from here so let's go here and take your time with it and add your own point or don't completely rely on AI so I'm gonna add a couple of points here there and remove that click here and here uh, in the fingers be careful if you remove too much of a data they will start looking like sticks instead of fingers uh, so I'm gonna make a point here and a point here see in this type of situation just use your own points quickly and a that's great so i'm gonna go here and then i'm gonna double click and that's gone so this way we made the selection really quick and you can fine tune it all day long we don't have time for it and see there's a little bit of thing left here so uh, in this type of situation use your third key that is i mean third solution i'm saying <laughs> Uh, polygon lasso tool so select the third one here it works the same but this time you can just select in straight lines with this tool double click and boom that's gone so this way you can utilize different tools to cut someone from the background now the selection is ready all you have to do is click on this mask button this third one here and the background is gone now it's time to add in the background that we are going to use so this is the image so I'm going to press Ctrl A, then I'm going to press Ctrl C, so that will copy it. And then I'm going to paste it here, Ctrl V. Now put this layer below this layer so we can see what's going on in the background. And the first and most important thing that I will do is uh, select my layer 0 and then I will press Ctrl J. 
now for this original layer 0 I'm gonna rename it you can just double click on that and rename it to backup and then I'm gonna put this one below my layer 0 now this will never get used but it is just for the backup so we have our selection ready in case we screw up something in this one and now we are going to adjust the background so she looks like she is in proper proportion so I'm gonna select my layer 1 which is the background one and let's shut this off we don't need it now so this is the layer 1 and I'm gonna move it a little bit uh, here there so here uh, this seems fine uh, you can play around a little bit if you want to use this type of area or this area just make sure she looks like she belongs there and nothing something like this because that it will always look fake so I'm gonna put this a little bit here uh, yeah that seems natural to me and you can also once you have selected your move tool you can also move the background with your arrow keys see like that uh, so you can get exactly what you want so this looks really decent to me and first of all let's uh, make sure that the masking has been done properly so as you can see if you zoom in you can see the hair and this edges they look really jagged and it doesn't look good so as you can see we have this layer 0 here and then I'm gonna right click on this layer and select refine mask and the refine mask first of all let's take care of the edges so to do that I'm gonna decrease my I'm gonna just uh, use the shift edge and decrease my edge a little bit it will remove those parts uh, where is it here here you can see properly here the masking the selection wasn't done properly so I'm gonna show in here like so as you can look at this elbow doesn't look right, that nice so I'm gonna decrease that one and I'm gonna feather it a bit and then I'm gonna increase my contrast so that will make it sharper a bit more yeah that looks really nice and since we increase the contrast the a little bit of smoothing so that the edges doesn't look way too sharp so not too much not too little uh, that seems really good so let's look at the rest of the edges and uh, near her see this is uh, happen this will happen if you don't do your selection job properly we rushed it due to tutorial but you can take your time and make it proper uh, you can see that it is possible to mask this image okay so that is nice and the rest of things look fine so original one and this one looks nice and then i'm gonna confirm it now since the edges are done i'm gonna focus on the hair so for the hair right click on this thing and i'm gonna select refine mask and just paint here a little bit like that so we can see that hair and since the background is gray it won't be that tough to remove the background see it, it worked out really nice and then i'm also gonna paint here don't do any setting changes or anything just directly start painting after selecting your refined mask there's nothing to do here so just directly paint it a gray background is the best for masking hair so this seems uh, it worked out really nice and a little bit of details here and that looks amazing so that looks fairly decent and let's zoom out now i'm gonna adjust some colors on the model so select your layer here not the mask the actual thumbnail here and then i'm gonna go to image adjustment and then i will go to shadows and highlights so as you can see here uh, we have a little bit of things going on and focus on the glow the details that come out when i increase the shadow see that's amazing now what i want to make do is add a little bit of uh, contrast and i'm gonna play with tonal with a little bit not too much so play around until you get a decent amount of contrast on her jacket uh, you will have to play around a little bit i'm gonna increase my mid tone contrast a little bit not too much and then increase the shadows a bit too much not too much so play around until you get the decent uh, enough and then i'm gonna remove some colors because i don't want like it's I don't want it to be extremely colorful since you are going for a grungy look and then adjust it a little bit here so let's turn it on and off and that looks actually really nice uh, you can turn down shadows a little bit if you want and that looks amazing so now hit ok so the model adjustments are probably done uh, for now and now since the model looks really good let's focus on the background so i'm gonna turn off the model layer and select my layer one now first thing that i will do is right click and convert it into a smart object so now let's double click on this thing and apply a gradient overlay and in the gradient overlay i'm gonna go and select this a foreground to transparent and then i'm gonna instead of using this black color 
I'm gonna go and select an orange stone. So let's go and find some proper orange stone that matches this brick a little bit. So yeah, that seems fine. And a little bit down. Okay, hit okay. And instead of this black color, I'm gonna select another really dark orange. Uh, something like that. Hit okay. And then hit okay. Then change its blending mode to soft light. So now if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference it makes. This overall image becomes that orangish tone that we need. And then I'm going to decrease the size a little bit and then decrease the opacity so it doesn't look way too strong. So let's turn it on and off. Yeah, it looks decent enough to me. And then hit OK. Now since it's done, uh, I'm going to turn off my turn on my model layer. Now this layer is on, but as you can see, this one is selected. So I'm going to go to my filter, blur and go to Gaussian blur. So now if I apply blur, as you can see, the model stands out really nice. Uh, so 8 pixel, let's try 10 pixel. Yeah, that seems decent. And then hit OK. Now I need to remove some of that blur from this uh, road. So select your mask. Since we converted into a smart object, as you can see, the blur is on separate layer. So let's click on this and select our brush. And in the brush, I'm going to select a regular, come on brush, come on. A regular small round brush. And then uh, let's make it bigger. Uh, is slightly bigger like that. Now I can make it bigger using my bracket keys like that. Now I'm gonna use my black color and remove it from here a little bit, not too much, just from the ground. And let's keep it uh, on this area. So if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference it makes. And you can always double click on this Gaussian blur and go in and decrease it, increase it, whatever you want. So let's keep it seven, that looks better. And then when my layer one is selected, I'm going to go and create another new layer and then select my brush tool and this big or maybe slightly bigger than that. And then I will paint with black color directly, nothing else. And make sure right click and your hardness is 0% so you can get this really nice fading. Then change this blending mode to soft light. Uh, let's turn it on and off. Yeah. And then opacity to 30% or 35, something like that. Uh, however you prefer. And then let's adjust it a little bit. Now this will allow us to make it slightly darker and separate the subject better from the background. Uh, as you can see near her hair. So this looks uh, better. And then I'm going to create new adjustment layer from here and then select hue saturation and decrease the saturation a little bit. So as you can see my hue saturation layer is under this layer. So this darkening will only affect the background. As you can see black and white that looks good but that's not the look we are going for so minus 20 percent or something uh, looks fine so as you can see it works really good and then let's go and select this model again and then go to image adjustment and again shadows and highlights and i might increase the shadows a little bit so this is the trial error you will have to do it again and again that's how the manipulations work so this same one I think is better than the previous one. Yep, uh, a bit more bright. And now it's time to add some adjustment on the model. So I'm gonna double click on this thing here and then I'm gonna select my gradient overlay. And the gradient overlay, as always, I'm gonna select my foreground to transparent. And then uh, let's adjust it a little bit and then change the angle. Uh, since the light will be coming from this way, uh, I'm gonna make this portion darker a little bit and then change its blending mode to soft light. So if I turn it on and off, you can see the way it makes it darker and gives her that depth. So that looks nice and I'm gonna hit OK. You can adjust it anytime if you want. And now it's time to add that really crazy contrast that makes it look really badass. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new blank layer from here. And then I will press Ctrl, Alter, Shift and E. So it will create a JPG inside Photoshop as you can see. Now uh, I'm gonna go to my filter, other and high pass. Now mostly we use this thing for sharpening, but this time I'm gonna use it for its contrast. So 30% or maybe 25, 25 seems also good. And then I'm gonna hit okay. So as you can see, there's this thing here. And then when I change its blending mode to hard light, as you can see the amount of sharpness and contrast it gives. But as you can see, it is also affecting the colors. So to make sure that it doesn't affect the colors, I'm gonna go to image, adjustment, and then I'm gonna make it desaturate. So it will won't, it will not hurt any kind of colors. And then if you want, you can decrease the opacity a little bit if you like, uh, your choice. 
and then I'm gonna press Control J that will make a copy of it now obviously it looks ridiculous but I'm gonna apply a layer mask here use my paint bucket tool and fill in the black color in the layer mask so everything is hidden and now I'm gonna grab my brush tool and then I will start painting here on her jacket uh, not an anywhere else using my white color obviously uh, so let's paint it here a little bit as you can see on her t-shirt where it looks really nice contrasty on the glove and where she has wounds so as you can see here and when I paint here as you can see those wounds like they start to look real 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 so let's start painting here and a little bit here so take your time and paint properly and you can also paint here a little bit but that I think jeans looks fine so now if I turn it on and off, you can see the detail it gives in the jacket and here you can always like decrease the opacity and I think we went a little bit too much with the sharpening, I mean the contrast but hey, uh, it still looks decent so as you can see the difference it makes this almost looks blur compared to that <laughs> so that's that now we're gonna do some color matching and to do that I'm gonna hold on my control key and click on this layer mask here so we have this active selection of her now go to a layer 1 which is the background and then I'm gonna press Ctrl J so it will make a cutout of her if you wanna see you can hold alt key and click on this eye see this way you can see that like there is cutout of her now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna rasterize this layer style so that it's flat and then I'm gonna put this layer 4 on top of everything so now I'm gonna go to my filter blur and then I'm gonna do average so it will make the average color out of the image then change its blending mode to color so obviously it's black and white at the moment you can also go with soft light if you like uh, soft light doesn't work that nice though so I'm gonna go with color and then change its opacity to like 50% or something like that or maybe 20, 30 and now if I turn it on and off you can see that the way color matches with the background at the moment she was saturated but now it's she is not so that looks really nice and now I feel that she's still not bright enough so I'm gonna go in here select this layer here go to image adjustment and again go to my shadows and highlights and make the shadows pump out even more and then let's adjust the highlights a little bit you might thinking like this is the third time I'm going in there and changing the stuff but well that's just the way it works like in the manipulation you cannot guess in the first time like what output will work so I'm gonna go and hit OK so as you can see now it looks even better from the last one it will take trial and error so it looks decent enough now layer 4 now I'm gonna create another blank layer grab my brush tool and instead of this black color I'm gonna select this grayish tone like a little bit like that and then I'm gonna make my brush really big uh, and click once here and a little bit here change this blending mode to screen obviously so as you can see there is a little bit of light uh, feeling going on there now I'm gonna create another blank layer and this time instead of this gray color uh, I'm gonna go and select this dark orangish color uh, something like that and then paint with that here so I'm gonna select my brush tool and paint here a little bit and then change its blending mode to screen so now as you can see there is a light going on here a little bit you can always press ctrl T and then make it bigger so that the light is on her and stuff like that so that looks nice now since there's a light we can create a rim light on her so to create that I'm gonna double click on this model layer here and there I'm gonna select inner shadow now in inner shadow drag your shadow a little bit here like that now as you can see it's shadow so it's black but instead of doing that I'm gonna change blending mode to color dodge and instead of this black color I'm gonna select some dark orange tone uh, that goes really nice hit ok now if I turn it on and off you can see the difference it makes uh, if I zoom in you can see even better uh, see the difference I know that so if I turn it on and off you see the difference it makes amazing you can always make the opacity 100% so that looks nice and now it's time to light up her cigarette so let's go in here and zoom in so as you can see the cigarette is it doesn't look that great so I'm gonna go to my layer 6 and then I'm gonna create new blank layer select my brush tool and as you can see we have this darker orange I'm gonna go with slightly reddish color go here make my brush really really small uh, big enough to cover this cigarette 
and then I'm gonna paint here like that you don't have to use any kind of selection just be natural with it because the light will glow a little bit so that looks nice and then I'm gonna change its blending mode to vivid light to see how it works out and that looks really good so I'm gonna go to my filter blur and then I will apply a little bit of Gaussian blur so that's way too much so I think uh, 3.5 yeah that looks nice and then change its opacity a little bit so now if I zoom out as you can see the light is glowing and since there's a light there needs to be smoke so this background we don't need it so I'm gonna close it nope and then let's go in here and this is the smoke image so I'm gonna press ctrl A and then I'm gonna press ctrl C come here and then I'm gonna press ctrl V this box will come up so just so hit OK and then as you can see the smoke is at the moment black so all you have to do is just press ctrl I and the smoke will turn white because white is the positive black and control i will turn the colors opposite so i'm gonna make i'm gonna press control t rotate this thing here uh, a little, little bit like that and then i'm gonna hold my shift key and make it smaller and let's come here and whoa whoa, whoa 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 what is going on so now i'm gonna make it smaller hold my shift key and then make it a little bit more smaller yeah that seems nice and put my smoke here let's make it slightly more smaller and put it here and confirm it now I don't need this rest of the area so I'm gonna just directly erase it you can use mask mask would be much better but the tutorial is already way too long so I'm gonna go and uh, remove it using my eraser though I will suggest using a layer mask uh, that would be much better so this looks nice not the best job done in the world but wait hey, still better so let's put it here a little bit and then i'm gonna remove a little bit of smoke from down here and that looks uh, pretty good actually and then i will go to filter blur and apply a little bit of blur not too much just a little bit so i'm gonna go with 0 0.5 first yeah that seems decent and then hit ok so i'm gonna zoom out a bit and then i'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and select curves now the curves I'm gonna lift up this thing a little bit not too much just a slightly not too much okay and then I'm gonna go to my red and then I will adjust it a bit I mean add a little bit of red and then let's go to the blues and here I will add a little bit of a yellow uh, these things are really really minor as you can see and still makes a big difference so be careful while using it now I'm gonna create new adjustment layer from here and select curves and add a little bit of contrast and let's increase the highlights a bit and then a touch contrast not too much just a touch okay so that seems really nice and now I'm gonna create one more adjustment layer from here and then I'm gonna select color lookup and in the color lookup I'm gonna go and select this crisp warm look now it's ridiculously strong so I'm gonna change its blend mode from normal to color so it will only affect the colors and not the contrast of the image because it's already way too contrasty and then i'm going to change its opacity to 50 percent so it looks more balanced out so that looks really nice so it is almost done but we need to do uh, one more thing so i'm going to go and create a new blank layer from here and in my colors i'm going to go and select a yellowish orange color something like this uh yeah that seems decent hit ok and then I'm gonna start paint it here something like this near her leg and here so this will give it a slight more haziness and then uh, changes blend mode to screen and decrease the opacity to maybe 20% a little bit more so let's turn it on and off yeah that looks much better so this will just balance out the image and since it's already way too contrasted this will give it that warm fuzzy uh, fuzziness a little bit that it needs now the final output is ready and it's time to adjust a couple of things uh, so that it looks better so first of all we can go to gradient overlay and here we can decrease the opacity uh, so that uh, the ground looks nicer hit ok and also with this punch uh, that we used here maybe we can go to hue saturation and then i'm gonna decrease the saturation a bit more so that it looks more balanced out and nice the model stands out really good in the background so yeah that looks really nice and you can also adjust this thing here on her leg the rim light we tried to create 
so in the gradient overlay actually this is the inner shadow and you can increase just the size uh, like that and then adjust it here you can change the color if you want uh, it is complete freedom whatever you want so I'm gonna go and okay my PC is <laughs> slow <laughs> it's it's painfully slow I, I'm really frustrated at the moment so you can adjust the colors however you want like it's totally up to you so I'm gonna make it slightly brighter and let's turn it on and off yeah that looks also a lot better so this is the final final output and let's look at the original one whoa and this is the edited one so i really hope that you guys learned something and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions suggestions or whatever you want to ask me you can ask me in the comment section below plus you can click on any of these boxes to check out more photo manipulations and you can also hit on that subscribe button so every time I upload a new video, you will get the update. Plus, it will take you to my channel where I have more than 75 free Photoshop tutorials just waiting for you. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.